today's chat is different from what we've been doing so far. It is a chat, a heart to heart between old friends. My dearest friend, Bindya Bedi Charan Noronha. Bindya seems to live in slow motion with her unhurried approach, yet manages to do and achieve far more than all of us normal individuals can. She wears many hats. She's a deeply spiritual person, a linguist working with a diplomatic mission in New Delhi, a poetess, a chat host herself on spiritual transformation and more, a mom and a happy single who celebrated seven years of remarriage. Without much ado, here is Bindi. Bindi, it's a pleasure to have you on Life Begins at 40. It's such a joy to be with you, Sanjana. Your spirit itself, you know, transmits that joy in your environment. So thank you very much for calling me. And it's mutual, you know that. <laughs> so Bindi, without, as I said, much ado, let's hop on to the first question. How's life been different after you turn 40? You know, much as we fear getting older, Hmm. As I crossed 40, you know, the initial 40s were a little tumultuous because you are transiting from, you know, uh, towards the middle age. But then as you progress into your 40s, it's like shedding the layers. And, you know, you start discovering your true self, what you truly want, because you feel half your life is over. So, you know, you might as well do what you really want to do instead of adjusting and making compromises. So it's been beautiful. Life after 40 is lovely. And I love that name of your channel. Bindi, Thank what you. inspired the wonderful, your debut book, The Dream Keeper? See, my book is my journey in a poetry form. Because, you see, poetry is compressed imagery. So you say a lot without going into deep details. Hmm. So, you know, this is my book, as you can see in the background also. Yes. So it's Dream Keeper is one. We all have our dreams. Dreams are what we have and we nurture. And when they are ready to fly, you know, then the Dream Keeper is moving towards freedom. So that was in my mind and I wanted to share because when you overcome a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry in your life, uh, you want to share so that you can encourage others and smile together, you know, that idea of not being alone in this world. We all struggle, we all are dealing with so many things. So to come out of that and share is caring for me. And it's a beautiful ensemble of not just poems for our viewers, but also of photographs clicked by Bindi's sister, right? Komal. Yes. yes. Uh, Bindi, why don't you read us a poem, one of your poems? Uh, well, I'll read a short poem since we are talking about, uh, you know, life after 40. So right. for me, life after 40 is like, Breaking Free. So I'll read the poem, uh, an extract of a poem, which is called Break Free. Mm -hmm. So uh, this says, the life must flow, the song must play. Let no unsung words remain. Let no water stagnate. Move on, lighten up, tell yourself, brighten up. Set a glow, all you touch. Vulnerabilities shaken, let it be. Float in hope. Break your shackles. Break free. So this is the poem and the photograph with it is this one. I know if you can see, it. yes. it's like breaking free out of the wall. So I thought I would share this with you. It's absolutely fabulous, especially uh, purposeful for People our age. True. <laughs> right? <laughs> true, true, true. Mm -hmm. So, Bindi, so, uh, 
we've been i've seen you grow evolve change through different phases of lives uh, life and i have uh, observed you as a deeply spiritual person in fact spiritualism seems to be the fulcrum of your life so tell me how has it impacted you changed you kept you grounded helped you evolve your response okay so spiritual practices are all a part of our life being born in a sikh family and you know gurdwara was always a big part of our lives and then i went into many directions and married to a catholic who is also not a very rigid person and i've also done a lot of meditation and you know uh, been part of buddhist practices so you know it's all a beautiful spiritual bouquet we inherit the moment we are born in india i think so they have all helped me at different stages to shed my fear to shed my insecurities and above all to give me the courage to be myself you know when i feel deeply connected uh to my prayers i'm polishing myself from within to bring out the best in me and work very sincerely without thinking of the results which i know you know if i deserve it will come so that trust factor is there with the spiritual practices in our life you know how oh, wonderful so is that is 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 it this trust that help you uh get in touch with your second husband how did you meet him how did you marry him so tell we were yeah we were family friends and uh, you know when after i was um, separated and after you know i was enjoying being a happy single my son doing his uh, he was in a professional college and you know uh parents living close by i had my own apartment and then you know i he uh, kind of uh, wanted to propose you know i want to grow old with you i want to us to live like uh, your parents so that was beautiful and then we were uh, we were good family friends so you know over a time period of time we started seeing each other and uh, my son was very comfortable with him Mm-hmm. and he was not worried because of the familiarity factor and uh, that is how i think it was all so natural that i can't even you know explain how what why it just fell into place it's just god's grace and prayers and you know it was like meant to be and how much joy it brought us your yes. best <laughs> <laughs> true and continues to bring us <laughs> i think things which we really struggle to do sometimes are not meant to be so mm. you know if they have to uh, fall into place god willing then they happen easily and they bring in a lot of joy for everybody like you said so uh, you also are a chat show host for on spiritual transformation it's like a docu series right Yes. Tell, yes tell me about that so that was another beautiful experience because being uh, you know connected to the gurdwara in saket which is very dynamic organization hmm. and the person who's behind this the pillar is a very well known architect professor charanjit shah and oh. he has written this book so during the lockdown you know he said i'm doing english classes at the gurdwara so you know he said and as we set up the library and all which was already there so he took it forward and he's always encouraging and he'll always say ha ye karo wo karo i come up with ideas let's do this class let's do that and he always encourages me my friends have also got involved and contributed there by taking uh, you know guidance classes for the children career counseling we have a lot of young adults doing computer and english classes so his book he said why don't you edit it so i started editing it and it took me back so deeply to my roots uh, that you know it was like uh, it was flowing in me so when i edited it so deeply then i said you know this uh, message which i have imbibed must go further because mm-hmm. he has written it so beautifully that even people abroad who have uh, no connection you know the name of the book is gurunanak's uh, travels you know 
Right. And here you are finding your own Nanak. Everybody's Nanak is different, which refers to what deeply resonates with you. So uh, I started doing it basically to bring the message out because not many people are reading spiritual books in detail. Yes. And I'm very happy that, you know, you, we have completed about uh, 12 episodes and we have a lot more to go and we do it at ease. And he is so deeply knowledgeable. That's really a joy to do it. And we get very good feedback. So that encourages us. And you're spreading uh, a wealth of knowledge out there. Yeah. And information. You're just helping people be better with that kind of sharing. Right? Yeah, in fact, you know, it, it is a deep, it's a very deep study of the uh, Guru Nanak's travels and his philosophy. So I was uh, uh, not expecting that even people abroad will, uh, you know, listen to it. And they are not short dialogues. They are like, for uh, 30 minutes, 35 minutes of deep philosophy. But uh, Professor Charanjit Shah is a very well-known architect, very well-read professor. And he is, uh, the way he brings out the message that, you know, I learned so much from him. Yes. So it's always like learning from the source and passing it on. Yes. So that's the only thing there is. And it's, it's very joyous for people like us who had no idea about anything related to Guru Nanak and his travels and his journey in life. So uh, tell me about Milpatki, which is your uh, uh, yeah. way of giving back to the society. Yeah, that's another beautiful experience. Actually, when my son uh, went to boarding in uh, Rishi Valley School, hmm. that time, you know, he was not around on Christmas. So I used to miss him. So I started working with children, you know, doing a program on Christmas with them, contributing, sharing gifts. And I got attached to this informal school called Fulbari, which was run by Senior Citizen Welfare Association in uh, Vasant Kunj. Right. A very well organized and a friend, a very dear friend of mine was, on, you know, st uh, teaching there, all voluntary teachers. So, you know, I had very good feedback. That otherwise, many times you do something, you don't get to know what's happening really. Because also I'm very busy the whole day with my job. So I have, I am able to do things because I get a lot of support from the environment. Since she was there, we were able to do a lot of good work and slowly a lot of like-minded people joined. And now it's many years we have been able to sponsor children, do health workshops. We also were able to put one skill building unit. And, uh, but during the pandemic, it again took a backseat. Hmm. And now we have restarted. And this time we are doing in a new basti uh, where the children have lost touch completely with their studies because they don't have smart uh, tablets, you know, things like that. So they were the worst hit. Schools were closed. They did not have devices. So they just forgot everything. So now what we are trying to do is to take it back. So this is... Also, a thought, uh, Sanjana, it cannot be done alone. A lot of people are involved. A lot of friends have joined in. We are trying to work uh, with the strays, right. getting the children, children sensitized with the stray animals, feeding them, plus supporting them. Plus, we are trying to do a library program. And now we want to add Save the Sparrows program. So, in fact, I'm going to make a project for it also because that's very important for our environment. I agree. And we have very passionate people involved. So, that's the only way I'm able to do it. Taking everybody along with you. Yes, you can't do. You know, life is not about doing things alone. It's beautiful to do it together. So what, as per you, is the essence to juggling the many things in life, just as you do? I think it's just, um, you know, it's a promise which you make to yourself and you make uh, to God, whatever you may call it, you know, your Buddha quotient within, your God, your Mother Earth, this world, I mean, after all, I'm here for a purpose and uh, I want to do the best I can. I want to create value. I want to do the best I can. There is nothing, uh, you know, more to it, nothing more serious to it or any purpose. It's just to do the best I can today. 
and in that purview you know things add up which give you joy like i love working with children i love animals so you know when i get an opportunity to work with them it adds to my joy it creates value and it's just beautiful there's nothing though, very big target there simple things done right that's a beautiful way you put it you've got the knack to say things in the right way so uh, a few quick fire questions to get under <laughs> bindi <laughs> and understand her more because you're such a social creature i mean are there very few people who are as lovingly warmly social as you and the best thing that i like the thing that i appreciate the most is your ability to move forward connecting your friends from your entire space all your you know different spheres of life bring them together and encourage them to meet each other spend time with each other without it feeling any insecurity yourself in fact they encourage me you know when i see others doing so many interesting things i learn from each one because each of us has such unique gifts i mean what you can do i cannot do so you know appreciating and learning together is beautiful in fact i'm coming out with my second book right. um, which is called uh, you know uh, how to keep i haven't given it a title yet how to keep love alive what are the seven secrets to happy relationships and i'm so happy to share that uh, earlier i was only writing myself and then you know i got some friends involved so it's become like the seven secrets of seven so it's such a beautiful project and you know i'm getting an opportunity to learn such different things from different people i'm sure you'll enjoy it of course i'm looking forward to it already as i'm as i'm sure the others are so um friendship for you in one word love motherhood total love mm. motherhood is unconditional love <laughs> <laughs> bindia's <Yes>. values a <laughs> respect respect for each one's choices and for each one's buddha quotient within mm. and bindia in 3 years uh a little better a little slimmer <laughs> a You're little right. healthier i hope i'm able to walk more like i said no big targets if i can live each moment well and do my best i'll be happy you're satisfied in life bindi that's the least to say thanks that i'm sorry No, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm waiting for the next <laughs> things that you and Ashley love to do together. Oh, uh, we love to read. We love to walk. We love to travel together, and uh, try new things. Try new cuisine. We like to uh, do these kind of things. You know, where some kind of walking, nature is involved. and that's reduced a lot traveling is reduced a lot so i really look forward to the world opening up more and more it is but you know you want uh, it everyone to feel comfortable while uh, doing things when you tell me something hmm. you you've been an extremely independent lady living alone managing your life and kind of taking care of your son and i'm sure getting married in your late 40s required some adjustment See I've been very fortunate Sanjana I would say that I've been surrounded by a lot of positive uh you know influences right family friends have always reached out and supported and been there so you know I have not had the fear in fact when I was we were getting married you know I a lot of people ask me why you why you going ahead with it you know you are enjoying yourself everything is fine but you know life is about loving and moving forward it's not about fear you know things will happen we will you know even if we struggle it is difficult to adjust when you know you are at this age you come together and uh, 
being with a an eternal bachelor who lived in a big house all by himself and here walked in me with my son with my dog with my maid you know so it was like a big change but we worked at it i think what is important is common values if you have agreement on common values on respect on love and not on compromising the basic truth right that is what takes you along beautifully put so what are the three most important things in life you feel the three most important things is uh, of course your family your friends your work i cannot quantify sanjana <laughs> really cannot quantify you know everything is important my spiritual connection is very important you know and my family and friends are also very important so it's very hard to quantify things and to do good work every day you know that's a secret to having a full life for bindia bidi <laughs> So what makes so. you sad and what makes you happy What makes me sad is you know people now i see the society is getting very judgmental and you know what makes me sad is the lack of kindness i mean we are here in this world for a very short time mm. i mean let's just be kind respectful and nice to each other ultimately we are all living in our own homes and having our own struggles it's not that i don't have everybody has their own set of problems to deal with you know okay. but if we can be nice kind and loving the world would definitely be a better place instead of you know fighting so hard for our convictions why can't we uh, agree to disagree why can't we respect differences because it takes different flowers to make a bouquet it takes different instruments uh, for the symphony to be beautiful so that is what i feel about bindi a spontaneous question so again uh, taking a step back to you and ashley what hmm. do you think are the qualities in a man that would appeal to a woman our age what i think uh, i think the man has to let a woman be herself hmm you see uh ashley comes from a family where his mother is a was a very strong woman i knew her we were, since we were family friends but since we got married she's not there and she was a very good uh, cook and they are from uh, mangalore so you know and i never used to cook i never cooked in my life i was very fortunate to have good cooks and lot of support like i told you so you know one thing he told me when i would really like you to cook and my mom is a great cook and you know till date you know it's her special food which sets all of us uh, alive Absolutely. so he says see your mom is such a good cook so i'm just giving you a very basic example i said i'll do it but you know you know i had my uh, maid my amma for the longest time and everything was i never needed to so i never did but when the lockdown happened you know it was like he kept reminding me to kabhi to karegi ek aloo to bana de <laughs> something like that i know then i know you remember that so he would tell me and i said ha main kar lungi but don't push me you know i'll do it at my own this thing so when for the first time in my life i've always been working you know leaving home at 8:30 coming by 6 6:30 i never had time for myself either to exercise or to do what i really wanted to do so when this period of time i got i learned how to cook he was shocked i made sushis and lasagnas and he was shocked you know <laughs> so it's i think when a man lets a woman be and you have a common uh, cord uh, where you respect each other you are able to bring yourself together even though you may be uh, walking on different sides of the parallel lines you can like he always supports my uh, milbant ke activities 
or you know if the contribution is less for some child's be he'll pitch in gurdwara he's more of an atheist and coming from a catholic background but gurdwara he'll go and support the library activities meet everybody mm. so you know when it comes to my uh, working with him i have attended a two hour konkani mass when we visited wow. mangalore Hmm. Can you imagine sitting through a konkani mass during? <laughs> but it was Christmas, and all his family was there, and I was meeting them for the first time. So you know, it's not about um, the man becomes attractive to a woman when he supports her to grow, and when he's large-hearted enough to understand that she's different, I'm different, but we have chosen to be together. So we'll work things out. This is fabulous. It's I also think. embracing each other, na, with our differences. In fact, he's so funny. He'll say, "I think the whole of India should have inter-caste marriages because you find certain customs about each other <laughs> so funny, and you learn, and you know." No, he's funny. I think so. He is. He has a great streak of humor, and I love the way he's embraced all of your friends, all of us. Yeah, it took you know. I had to balance it out. Like I was a real party person, partying on every Friday and you know Saturday. And he is more of his work is very uh, you know deep and uh, requires a lot of input. So he just can't party on the go. But I try to balance, and ultimately, you know, we uh, he's also when we do it in a disciplined way, we are able to meet everyone. It's not that we have become isolated. So, yeah. what is a gift as per you? i think the biggest gift in is uh, you know that faith and trust in the goodness is a gift i'm very uh, i feel very blessed that i'm able to feel that you know it's basically god's grace when you feel that uh, you can see the goodness in the other person in spite and despite it's also a result of the spiritual practices over a period of time where you are training your mind to look at the goodness in a person for me that's a big gift and you've done it very diligently very diligent it has to be done diligently because otherwise if you keep questioning and analyzing then you can't then you just can't you have to have faith have to have faith in god faith in yourself and faith in the person who is in front of you true agar bindi ko ek super power de de to kya chahiye time 48 hours in and in a day not so that you're hoping to launch a new project called dream to freedom project interesting uh, yeah if it's an international uh, coach based in europe and i'll be doing the poetry creative quotient for it yeah and uh, we'll be starting from that and then moving towards self exploration hmm. and uh, how to find your true potential by peeling off the layers through a creative journey very interesting very interesting it's still in formulating stages yeah so i'll share once it's out and who are you doing this with so this is uh, another international program which i did called uh, uh, it was a challenge to write and speak in which i won some awards called the golden door awards and there i met this lady i did some videos with her she is uh, she was working for the government uh, ministry of foreign affairs again in slovenia and she is an international transformational coach works in us and europe Okay. So we are trying to put it together, and uh, let's hope. And the beautiful part is that it starts from dream keeper. Yeah, <laughs> wish you super <laughs> best for it. Super. Thank super you best. so much. So, last Thank question, Bindi. So have you converted? How have you converted a weakness into a strength? Uh. this thing which i shared about uh, you know uh, agreeing to disagree this thing about respecting different 
mindsets. Hmm. Uh, I was a, I'm the eldest in the family okay. and uh, a pampered child, eldest in the family. I used to always think I'm right. You know, hmm. I'm right and I know. And I had a short fuse as well. So over a period of time, I have got it ingrained that, you know, everybody has their own truth. I have my truth, you have your truth. And we need to really respect each other. So that is a little transformation, which I feel I have kind of worked on myself to do. And uh, the other thing is, I also used to be very laid back and lazy, you know, apna kaam kya, apna job kya, apna wo kya and bus, then chill, enjoy, have fun. So now I feel, you know, I want to do, create more value, do more interesting things. So I work at it. I no longer shirk that key. But now ab to mujhe party karna. Now I try to do both. So you that is another balance. Yeah. In all things you yeah. want. Yeah, I try to. Your desires, I've seen your desire to create, to do different things is also increased. I don't know yes. how is it, but you seem to be evolving each day even more and interested in doing even more creative stuff. I think, you know, sometimes it also happens automatically when your deep desire is there. And when you are not that attached ki, and you are not fearful, ki what will be the result? You know, it required a lot of courage to put out the book because you are so worried. What will people say? What will the reaction be? What if I'm not good enough? So when you disconnect your mind from the result, then you live in the now and you do the best now. Mm-hmm. And then it doesn't bother you. Mm-hmm. You know, jo acha ho gaya, wo bahut acha hai. Jo nahi hua, we'll try again. It's like, a new trial every day. And the book keeps getting reviews that you don't even know about. Aaj this you know, I didn't even know about. And this is a paid platform. I can't even open the whole thing unless I uh, pay and subscribe to it. And our book is reviewed there. That was the best part. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations on that achievement. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you and so much. Been- so, so wonderful chatting with you. It's like sitting with you after a long time. Part on one, but via Zoom. So, yes. So, I must congratulate you. Let me take, the, you know, because after all, uh, this exchange is gives us energy. You know, when Sanjana asks and she shares and when I share, there is a third force which is created. It's no longer just you and me. It becomes a new energy. And that, I think, transmits and it's so beautiful. So please enjoy life after 40 and <laughs> take advantage of Sanjana's fire, fiery questions. And take advantage. Many I don't want to answer sometimes, but you have the knack of, you know, asking and taking out. <laughs> And and also people like yourselves who have so much to share and give. So let's keep the ripple of good energies going. Thank you. Right? Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. So much.